Hey guys, Alan McComas here. I'm on my way home on a Friday in a cold, rainy Columbus, April. I'd normally be going to the golf course right now, but not. Uh, anyway, I'm filling this video out there um, in response to a question I get just about every week. And the question is, people go, Al, I want to invest in real estate, single family houses, doing fix and flips. Uh, like you do. Um, I've been doing it for eight years now. Um, uh, wholesaling a lot of properties. Um, but anyway, as I got thinking about it, and I answer people and kind of tell them, teach them some of the ropes, and what I've really figured out is about probably 95% or more of the people, they got a little money and they want to uh, invest in the houses, but they really don't have time. You know, the system's in place. They may not have the experience. Not to say they can't get that over time, but uh, most of them really are more, when you really dig down into it, are more looking for a passive investment. We want to be part of the real estate deals and, and stuff that, uh, that we're doing. Um, so anyway, I put a little PowerPoint together that I want to share with you. Um, kind of takes it step by step. It breaks it down really easy um, on how you can invest in Single family, how do you get the cash flow basically from your investment each month uh, without really owning the houses and have to be involved in the maintenance and all that stuff? So, anyway, if you're interested in uh, something like this, continue watching. I'm going to run my little presentation. If you're not interested in any of this, hey, you might as well stop it now and uh, don't waste your time and all that stuff. So, um, let's take it from here and I'll get back to you. Uh, as soon as the little presentation is over, about five minutes. All right. Okay, so here's the case study I put together. Creating real estate cash flow without actually buying the houses. Now, the purpose of this case study is, one, is to take the myth out of real estate investing. It's a lot easier than uh, people think. And I want to explain why it's a predictable investment. I want to break down the numbers step by step. Uh, I want to reveal... How investors get discounted house sources that most people never know about. And I identify two ways investors are cashing in and a secret some are using without buying houses. So here's what I'm going to go over. I'm going to go over the numbers and what makes a good deal. I'm going to go over how investors find and get these good deals. This will surprise you since it's unknown to just about most people. And how anyone can leverage the knowledge and efforts of successful investors to create cash flow secured by cheap houses. So let's get right to it. Real estate is all about the fixed up value. The fixed up value is the ARV or after repaired value, or a lot of people call it fair market value. Now, unlike the stock market, which we won't get into that, but the stock market is uh, investors buy at market price. Real estate is something that you can buy at a discount if you know how to find the deals, and that's really the key. So the next number after the after repair value is the repair cost. Uh, this is the estimated cost to fix up the house and bring it up to the after repair value. So the after, after repair value minus the repair cost is the as is value. Now the as is value is usually the list price when a house is listed by a real estate agent. So this in rocket science, here you go, after repair value minus the repair cost equals the as is value. So here's a case study. This is a house from our past. Uh, on Hyder Street and I rounded these numbers off just to keep this very basic and simple because it is but Hyder Street the after repair value is $60,000 after we estimated all the repair cost uh, that came up to $15,000 so the 60,000 minus the 15,000 <clears throat> is $45,000 which is the as-is value we bought it for $20,000 so here's the secret. In order to buy at a discount like this, we or the investor pays all cash, closes quick, and offers to take it in as is condition. Uh, doing all this, this is very favorable to uh, most distressed house owners, which are very motivated. Now, traditional banks are too slow and cumbersome. Even though the bank interest rates are low right now, they still have a lot of fees that get tacked on, and it's just a slow pain in the butt processed so in comes the private lender 
uh, just everyday people. Uh, this creates an opportunity for passive investors, who we call the private lenders, to participate in real estate profits without owning houses. So here's how the deal works. We get an accepted offer from the seller to buy Hyler Street for $20,000. We estimate the repair cost at $15,000. We estimate other costs around $1,000. This is for the uh, title company. Uh, they do the title search, get title insurance, do the closing docs, prepare mortgage, and that kind of stuff. Um, so that totals $36,000. So we borrow $36,000 from a private lender. Now the private lender sends his money directly to the closing agent or title company. Uh, the closing agent records a mortgage on behalf of the private lender at closing. So the private lender's $36,000 is secured by the real estate valued at $60,000. And then the private lender is paid interest every month month for the use of, of the money. Now, depending on what is agreed upon between the private lender and the investor, the interest rate is usually 8 to 12% these days. And that's all pre-determined uh, um, or agreed upon between the private lender and investor and is, is, is documented in a promissory note. So the relationship between the real estate investor and the private lender is really what creates the success. So the big advantage is buying, obviously, below the AIV. Now, these deals are almost always off-market houses. They're usually not listed on the MLS. They may have been a one-time and usually were, but they gave up on that um, because banks won't finance or whatever. Um, and and they're, these deals are not accessible to the general public. Um, these off-market houses come from, uh, we do direct mail campaigns, send out mailings to landlords, tired landlords, absentee owners, vacant houses, evictions, inherited properties. And it goes on and on from that. We do online advertising. Um, and we get uh, other real estate wholesalers like myself. A lot of deals come in. Um, so we get a lot of deals. So since we do get a lot of deals coming into our pipeline, we have a lot of investors calling to buy from us. And because of this, we know investors that are looking for relationships with private lenders nearly every day. So if this sounds like a relationship you'd like to be involved with, or I'd just like to learn more about private lending, give me a call, text me, 614-705-2750, and uh, we'll chat. Okay, guys, uh, you've obviously got this far in the video, so you may have some interest. Um, like I said, reach out to me if you have a... Uh, an interest or just want to chat or whatever. I just wanted to say uh, one final note on this. Um, everyone loves a win-win situation. In, in my thinking, my book here on uh, this business model is actually there's five winners. Um, first winner is the seller that got rid of an ugly, ugly house. Been trying to get rid of it usually for a long time. Just wanted out from under it. Probably like selling a boat. Um, anyway, so they got cash, didn't have to mess with the closing, didn't have to fix it up or anything. So they're happy. They're a winner. Uh, second winner is the re the investor and the rehabber, or the investor rehabber slash rehabber usually. Um, they're creating jobs and increasing the property value and um, just uh, just very good. I mean, it's good business production and all that stuff. Um, third is the private lender that we just talked about, and they're getting great returns, secured by real estate in a very good position, um, and uh, so that's they're they're winning. Um, the uh, the fourth is the neighbors, uh, the neighborhood, the whole street gets improved. We have so many neighbors when we're fixing up a property, uh, they come over and thank us. They've been living by this ugly house, and vacant house, whatever, problem house. Uh, so they're they're winning. Um, they're the fourth winner. Uh, fifth winner, you know, think about it, but the tenants. Uh, most of the ones we deal with, we try to do a rent to own, um, give them a pride of ownership, help them get financing eventually, um, work through it. But uh, as we're doing the rent to own, they take care of the property. They're very appreciative. Um, we just have a good relationship with the tenants, which is uh, a lot of times unusual between landlords and tenants. So anyway, um, that's all I got. Still driving in the crappy rain here. Um, reach out if you're interested. Hope this was informative and uh, peace out.